hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a really in-depth review I'm going to be talking about the brand new Huda Beauty remastered rose gold eyeshadow palette so I know that a lot of you guys that follow me on Instagram are waiting for this video so if you're interested in what I have to say about this palette or you are just interested in the palette and you want to see everything swatched then just keep on watching so first I just want to mention the basics this palette is now a available as I am filming this video so when this video goes up I guess there's a chance that it could be sold out but it is available for sale on Sephora and probably the Huda Beauty website but I buy everything Huda Beauty from Sephora and it is available right now on Sephora it is retailing for 65 US dollars which is the same price as the previous one I believe now there is a lot of controversy about this palette whether or not it was the right thing to do for Huda Beauty to kind of redo it and resell it to the same customers that may have been interested in the first one or already purchased the first one but I personally believe that if you want to do better you should be able to do better so if she wanted to improve her formula and improve a palette and bring it up to your ever-growing standards I feel like there's nothing wrong with that now that being said I am NOT one of the people who purchased the first palette I tend to do a lot of research before I buy a palette for personal use and there were a lot of mixed reviews on that first rose gold palette and therefore I did not want to pay the $65 price point so hopefully in this video today I will be able to let you guys know if I would purchase this palette for $65 this palette was sent to me in PR but I always give you guys an unbiased opinion so I will let you know if I believe that it is worth the money at the end of this video but of course I do not have the first rose gold palette to compare this one to so this is just a straight up first impression and review of this palette alone I personally if I owned the first version of this probably would not pay $65 again to get another palette with very similar shades even if the formula is so much better and the quality is so much better I probably would be a little bit salty about having to purchase the same product again to get the quality that it was meant to be so I do understand both sides of the argument I just don't personally see anything wrong with making your product better and putting it out there if that makes sense so here is what we are working with today the remastered palette basically has an amped up formula a few of the shades are different than the previous one and the packaging is better it has a mirror and it's a little bit heavier packaging I could see arguments for both sides the previous palette had a window instead of a mirror and I like seeing my eyeshadows but I prefer a mirror if I'm traveling with a palette that way I can just hold this the whole time and get my look done and not have to have a standalone mirror so I do prefer the packaging on the remastered palette the palette also comes with a really beautiful protective screen for the eyeshadows that I will not throw away because this is actually so gorgeous it's not just your basic clear screen if that matters to you guys so here are the shades in the remastered palette I wanted to give you guys a close-up before I swatch and ruin all of the shadows I have used a couple of these previously in the past few days but I've barely touched it so I wanted to show you guys the palette while it's still nice and clean I honestly feel like nothing on camera no photos I've taken of this palette have really given it justice in person these shades are just mind-blowing they look absolutely beautiful but I feel like you just can't capture it on camera for some reason so I went ahead and zoomed you guys in a little bit for this portion of the video I think the first shade I want to go into is this shade right here as a transition it's kind of a pinky peachy matte and this is called demure now hopefully you guys can see this shade does have a lot of kickback when you pick it up with the brush a few of the matte shades that I've tried have had this kind of excessive fallout when you pick it up but that is typical with a pigment like a really pigmented pure eyeshadow so the more pigment the more fallout usually so I'm gonna take my favorite Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to blend this into my crease now something I learned about the first palette when I was researching it for this video was that a lot of influencers or a lot of people who talked about the palette said that you needed to use your fingers to get the best payout and they marketed this new palette 
telling you that you could use your fingers or a brush not just your fingers. Now I want to darken up my outer corner with this matte brown called Henna. Taking the same brush and a lighter hand, I'm just going to pop this into the outer third of my eye. This honestly blends like a dream. The shadows really do play well with each other. So for this look, I want to use this metallic shade called Trust Fund. So I'm going to put it on one eye with a finger and the other eye with a brush. So I'm going to attempt to apply the shade Trust Fund with a brush dry. Nothing is coming onto my brush. It almost feels creamy, but it won't pick up onto my brush. Let me see if I can show you. Can you see how nothing is really coming onto the brush? Okay, so barely anything is going onto the lid with a brush. So there is Trust Fun on my finger. As you can see, my finger picked up a bunch of the products. Definitely a little bit more went on with my finger, but it's almost like this shade was just more vibrant in the pan than it is on the lid. Do you see how vibrant Trust Fund is in the pan? It just doesn't transfer like that on the eye. I'm gonna see if wetting my brush will make a difference with that shade. So I'm gonna spray my brush with some primer water from Smashbox. That barely added anything. It's weird, but it's almost like no matter what I do to this shade, it just kind of squishes further into the palette. It does not come up on my brush. So maybe it is a little bit too firmly pressed in the pan. Moving on, I'm going to drag this shade right here. It's another matte called Maneater. And I'm gonna drag that along the lower lash line. I have to say I'm a little disappointed. I was not expecting to be disappointed with the shimmer shades. So the highlighter shade in here called Moon Dust, I'm going to use on my brow bone and inner corner. Now I just wanna see if I can add a little something to my lid. So I'm gonna see if I can grab rose gold with my finger and see if it taps onto my lid at all. So here it is on my finger. It kinda has like a duochrome shift to it. All right, so that added a little something, but honestly, nothing close to what I was expecting. So it's beautiful, but it's just not as vibrant as I thought it would be. So I'm going to hop off camera, apply my mascara and my lashes, and I'll be back to talk about the final look. Okay, guys, so I hate when this happens. I really do, but turning around, putting my lashes on, and like just really looking at the look and I'm really really disappointed with this look it's so just kind of dry and it doesn't look as pigmented as I thought it would and it just is so disappointing to me I will be taking it off I'm sure it does not look as bad on camera as it does to me in my own vision because I saw this going a certain way with like super high quality pigments and really really bright metallics and it just didn't go that way so I want to give the palette the benefit of the doubt I want to see how it swatches so I will swatch this entire palette for you guys but as for this look I just didn't like the way that it turned out if you guys want me to do more tutorials with this palette I would be more than happy to do so but as for technically my second impression of this palette it did not go as well as the first and the first impression was using all mattes so I have to say I think I'm a little bit disappointed with this top row of eyeshadow this top row was supposed to be this new dreamy ultra metallic beautiful pigmented shadow and it just does not transfer that way from finger to lid or from brush to lid so that is really unfortunate I will have to play around a little bit more to get like my super final thoughts on this palette but as of right now I have to say I probably would not personally spend $65 especially if you have the first one on this palette but let me go into the swatches and swatch this palette for you guys a shade at a time and I will let you guys know how it swatches and then we will wrap up this review. I hate being negative. I am sorry, but I just have to be honest with you guys. And it could just be like 
a fluke. It could just be the makeup that I chose for today, but as of right now, I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. So let's move into swatches. So we are going to go row by row. The first shade is one of these metallic shades, and this is called Dubai. So I'm just going to pick this up with my middle finger. And keep in mind, it is a little bit harder to swatch with these long nails. So this is a beautiful olive gold metallic shade. So there is Dubai swatched. And all this is going to tell you is the pigment you can get from finger to eyelid. Next up is like a metallic magenta. This is called Fling. This feels kind of like Trust Fund with the cream. So this is more difficult to pick up than the first one. So there is Fling. Next up is the shade that I used on my lid and struggled with, and that is Trust Fund. There it is on my finger. It is a gorgeous shade. So there is Trust Fund. Can you guys see it's just not as vibrant when you swatch it? Next up is Rose Gold, and it kind of has a duochrome shift to it that you really kind of can't see on camera. This is a little bit more soft, less creamy. There is Rose Gold. Next is the shade Pink Diamond. This looks so beautiful. I don't want to mess it up. Okay, this feels a bit more powdery, like it actually would pick up nicely. Ooh, definitely my favorite shade so far, Pink Diamond. And the last shade in the top row is 24 Carat. It is a gold metallic. That is poppin'. So there you have 24 Carat. So here is the top row of the remastered rose gold palette. We're going to wipe this clean and move on to the second row. So we're going to start off with this matte called Risque. This is not picking up the greatest with my finger. I don't think it's going to swatch the best, to be honest. Okay, that did not swatch good, but you know, mattes sometimes perform beautifully and swatch horribly. So. You can't really judge by a swatch. Next up is the hot pink in the palette called Doll Face. I'm out of focus, you guys, and I don't know why. This one really didn't pick up well on my finger. There's Doll Face. Next up is the shade Demir that I used in my crease. This might not show up well on my skin tone, but that's normal. You guys see, it's really flesh toned for me. So there's Demir. Next up is the shade Hashtag Blessed, which is a beautiful shimmery gold. Again, sorry if I'm out of focus at all during the swatches. So that shade Hashtag Blessed is a beautiful shimmer. Next is the shade Moon Dust that doubles as a highlighter. This one is very soft and very pigmented. There is Moon Dust. And last up in this row is the shade Bubbly. This is another champagne shimmer. This is a beautiful shade, kind of reminds me of the formula from the top row. So I apologize if that was out of focus, but that is bubbly. So this is the second row. Now the third row I'm going to do backwards because I don't want to start with black and stain my finger. So we're going to start with the brown to the right called sandalwood. So there is sandalwood. I did use this one previously in a look and I loved it. Next is the shade Henna, which I did use today. Got a little chunk in my swatch. There is Henna. Next up is the shade Man Eater. This one does not pick up good with a finger. So there's Man Eater. Kind of had to run over that a couple times. Next is a matte brown called Coco. This one is a little bit more creamy and nice. So there's Coco. Next up is a taupey gray color called Suede. This one feels really creamy as well. There is Suede. And lastly, we have Black Truffle, which can be used wet as an eyeliner or dry as a smoky black eyeshadow.
So there is black truffle. And this is the last row in the palette. So I think if you guys know me, you know it's hard to hide the disappointment when I'm disappointed in something. And I do have to say my expectations were probably a little too high for this palette, but when you remaster something and you are confident enough in putting a palette out that has already been put out essentially, I was expecting like goals out of an eyeshadow palette. I was ready for the best pigmentation I've experienced or just something more than what I got. So I am a little bit disappointed. There are some beautiful shades in this palette and some great pros to this palette. The packaging is amazing. Some of the shimmers are absolutely stunning. The mattes blend beautifully on the eye, but I am a little bit confused about some of the shimmer metallic eyeshadows, specifically the top row. So if you guys are gonna ask me if I personally recommend this palette, as of right now, it is a no. I would wait, I would test it out for yourself, swatch it in store, but for me, I don't think it's worth the $65 price point, especially when there are other eyeshadows on the market that I like better, that are cheaper. If you guys want recommendations, go ahead and ask me in the comments and I will let you know of some cheaper palettes that I love way more than this one. So I hope that you guys know that I went into this video ready to absolutely love and hype up this palette. I would never come on here and bash a product intentionally before trying it. I really, really thought that I was going to love this a lot more than I did. And there are a lot of products from Huda Beauty that I absolutely love. Her 3D highlighter palettes, I've been dipping into those wet highlighters and putting them on as a base all the time in the warmer months. I absolutely love them. And and I'm a huge fan of the Desert Dusk palette. Here is my Desert Dusk palette. So if you guys are going to go and dish out the $65 for a Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette, this is the one that I would recommend. I personally have gotten a lot more use out of this palette. I do love the colors in the Rose Gold palette, but they just don't transfer as beautifully on the eye as I thought they would. So please let me know down below if you picked up the first version of the Rose Gold palette. What are your thoughts on that? palette and what do you think about Huda Beauty releasing another remastered rose gold palette? I want to know your thoughts. I'm so sorry if this disappointed anybody who may have been excited for this palette. Don't let it sway you if your heart is set on this palette. By all means, try it for yourself. You can always take it back later if you don't like it. If you guys enjoy review videos, swatch videos, or you just like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up for me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I have some really exciting things planned for the month of June and I would love to have you. If there's anything else coming out that you want me to review, then please leave a comment as well. I want to know what you're interested in seeing. There are a few products that I have on a list that I'm going to pick up to review for you guys. I really miss product reviews. That's what I love doing. So I want to gather up some of the latest, hottest products for you guys and get my reviews out as soon as I can. But thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and hopefully I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye!